What's going on everyone? Today, we're going to be looking at what's in my camera bag. I have my bag already all set up here. I actually did a little review about this bag in my previous video, so if you wanna go check that out, I'll go over all the ins and outs of this thing. But this time, we're actually gonna take a look at the things I carry in my bag. Now, as a photographer, I like to carry a lot of different things, gadgets, trinkets, camera equipment, and everything in here. So we're just going to lay everything out here and show you what I carry. First, on the bottom section of the camera bag is where I keep my camera. I'm actually filming with it right now, so you can't see it, but this is what it would look like. And attached to that camera is the Canon RF 85mm 1.2. Again, I'm filming with it, so you can't see it right now. But I do have my secondary lens here. This is the Canon RF 15 to 35 millimeter. Now this is my vlogging lens where I do a little selfie vlogs or kind of all around talking videos. When I'm actually in my little studio setup here, I like the 85, it gives you that nicer depth of field, but this is a good all around, can do anything you want it to do type of lens. So that's the first item in my camera bag. Guys, set that right there. Next, we have a couple things for my lenses. First, we got my variable ND filter. This is a six to nine stop, so I'm only really using it when I'm outdoors in bright sunlight. Goes right on top of the lens here. Makes everything a little bit darker. We can do a little bit more in-depth review of these things in another video. Next, we got another filter. This one is called a black mist filter. It looks pretty ordinary from over there, but when you put this on the lens, it makes things a little bit more hazy. Highlights from light sources like this lamp behind me will become nice and glowy, give you that cinematic look and feel. And again, maybe we'll do another comparison video in the future on one of these. Lens cap for the lens I'm using. Now this little thing is a little duster. This is technically not really meant for lenses because I got this from like a little watchmaking kit. So it's very tiny. I actually want to invest in an actual little blower for my lenses, but this thing does the job for the moment. So now all the good stuff is in the top section of my bag. It might be a little bit deceiving, but there's gonna be a lot of different things in here. First, we got my little travel size thing of ibuprofen because whenever you're adventuring out, out in the sun, the heat's beating down on you, sometimes you forget your water bottle and you're so thirsty, your head starts to hurt. So I got some travel ibuprofen right there in the front. One battery charger and a second battery charger. Now this is from newer, I got for some backup batteries. This is the official Canon battery charger, which I prefer to use because you never know with third party chargers. I got my micro USB cable for my newer charger. The Canon one has a plug directly in it, so I don't need to do anything with that. Got backup battery number one, backup battery number two. Always make sure to carry backup batteries, people. How many times are out doing photos, videos, and when you're filming 4K, 120 FPS, it drains through your batteries. So you definitely need some backups. And then lastly, we have a couple little Allen wrenches, you know, for your tripods and camera accessory needs. Now onto the big pocket. This is where all the fun stuff is. More microfiber cloths. I'm gonna add that to the pile. You can never have too many microfiber cloths. I feel like I've never even washed one of these things. I always just end up getting a new one. And I never even bought a microfiber cloth. Anytime I get any new camera accessory or lens or filter or anything, it comes with like 10 of these things. So I've never even had to wash them. <laughs> Next, I got a couple extra base plates. Arca Swiss compatible, of course. One big one and then one tiny little one that I usually use to mount my phone to my tripods and accessories there. We got my trusty little desktop, tiny little travel tripod. This one's from Newer. I got it on Amazon. This is actually one of my favorite little things. It's made out of carbon fiber. It doesn't look like it can really hold a camera that well, which if you're using it like this, maybe not, but it has a horizontal and vertical setting on it. Of course, has the ball head. It does expand all the way out. This is perfect for traveling on the go. My big tripod is heavy as hell, so I use that more for my indoor filming at home. I don't have to lug it around everywhere. But if I'm on the go, I like to just bring this little thing with me. Works as a little selfie holder for travel videos or vlogging. I love this thing. And super light, very maneuverable, super tiny. That's the thing. It fits in my backpack like a breeze. And you just carry it around everywhere you go. Now that's the only problem with it is all the shots are gonna be pretty low from the ground unless you have something to put it on top of. But I've really never run into the issue. A lot of times I do like that lower angle or I just handheld. I think I bought it for like 60 bucks, which it sounds a little bit expensive, but anything in the realm of this price range was just subpar. If you really wanted to get something more intense than this, it'd cost you at least like $100. So for 60 bucks, 
I think it's a pretty good bargain. Next, we got my DJI microphone kit. I got one here, the receiver's on my camera. I like using the DJI mics, they're so easy to set up, literally just clip it on, clip it on the camera, you're good to go, just adjust the gain settings. Really hard to mess it up. And super nice when you're traveling out on the road, going outside, you just have it clipped onto you the whole time, you get nice quality audio, especially if you wanna use like an 85 millimeter lens like I'm using on my camera now, you can't really use a shotgun mic on this thing. You're just so far away, it's gonna sound very quiet and muddy. Now, this is my little shotgun mic I like to use for vlogging purposes. This is the Deity something. Deity D4 Mini, there we go. And obviously it has a little dead cat to put right on top here. This thing cost me like 20 or 30 bucks and honestly one of the best investments I've made so far. I've tried some more expensive microphones and when you start getting into like the crazy road go mics and stuff, you can maybe notice a little bit of an audio difference, but if you're just doing casual vlogging, recording, you really can't notice that price difference. So I highly recommend this little thing. And of course, we got a nice little yellow cable to go along with the microphone. And of course, you always need a phone holder. These are my favorite ones. I hate the ones that use springs to open it up. This one actually has like a little knob that you tighten around your phone. So much better than those spring ones. Obviously it has a couple screw holes right in the back. That's what this little tiny mounting plate is for. Arca Swiss again, so you put it on here and now you have a phone holder, boom. Now this here is a little bracket extension to attach to the camera and to attach my phone on this side so you can get some cool point of view shots when you're taking pictures or videos with your camera. Then we got another phone holder here. See, this one does actually have a spring attachment to it. And I'm like, again, I don't like it. I'm sure it's secure and uses the spring well, but when you have big bulky phones that you're trying to hook into here, it's such a pain. This one, again, screw it in. So much easier, holds super tight, small little adjustments. This one's nice though, because it does come with a Arca Swiss compatible base plate. So you don't even need any extra attachments to use that. So I carry that as a backup. Here I got a little contraption. It's a little cold shoe mount and screws. Oh, has a couple cold shoe points on three sides. So you can put as many accessories and mount on your cameras, anything. You can never have too many things, you know? Now this thing, it's a rain cover for my backpack, which I absolutely never use because I hate going out in the rain, but I bring it with me just in case. You never know when it might rain. Ah, here's something everyone needs. Another microfiber cloth. Add to the pile. And of course, we need our memory card. I don't really have a fancy holder or anything. I just put them in these little plastic containers that they come with when you buy the card and I just chuck it right in my backpack. And I honestly don't even use all of them. My main one is like 200, whatever it is. I don't do long multi-day shoots to fill it up. And whenever I come home, I usually just dump it right onto my laptop right away. So I never really fill them up that fast. But again, it never hurts to be safe and have a couple extra memory cards to add to your collection. And last but not least, we got a quarter. This quarter is probably one of the most important things to carry with you, because that's what you need to screw in these base plates to your cameras and all your accessories. Maybe it's not the most important thing, but it's always nice to have a quarter with you. Now that's it for my camera bag. These are all the things I carry. I feel like I'm missing a thing or two, which I only know when I'm at a shoot and that's when I find out I miss something and I regret all my life choices and then I start adding more things to my backpack for the next time. But what do you guys carry in your backpacks? Do you think I'm missing anything from here that I should add? And what from here do you think that you need to add in your camera backpacks? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one where we go over all my everyday carry items that I love to carry with me and that you need to have in your photography arsenal.